We didn't know what it was we were working on. No one told us. Just, we need this much of compound X, this much of compound Y. They kept us completely in the dark. More than 70 years ago, the countries consisting of NATO embarked on a project designed to ensure the military might of the West would never be surpassed. Scientists began the process of building large experimental laboratories, huge secretive mining facilities, and an international level of cooperation began that has not been seen since. That project's name? Project Grathrang. What began as a small boy's innocent drawing would eventually turn into one of the greatest military experiments of our time. Here's how. Dr. Gregory R. Rang was born in Ontario, Canada in 1922. One of his earliest passions was of course animals, and he would often invent his own unique animal hybrids and share them with his friends at school. He would make up all kinds of animals. Bear cats, half monkey, half shrimp creatures. He would even draw stuff like Bugs Bunny mixed with Daffy Duck. It got a little bit unsettlesome after a while. The extent of detail these things had. To him, they were real. Dr. Rang's passion would lead him to pursue simultaneous degrees in both biotechnology and chemical engineering. He secluded himself on the side of a mountain in a custom-built laboratory, access to which was basically impossible without the use of climbing equipment or a military-grade helicopter. What you are looking at now is actual footage from Dr. Rang's labs that proves, although it was difficult to access, he was not as secluded as perceived. Indeed. The military had expressed an interest in the doctor from the moment he began his doctoral thesis. That thesis. How to create a Grathrang. We didn't know what it was we were working on. No one told us. Just, we need this much of compound X, this much of solution Y. They kept us completely in the dark. At first. Eventually. The project progressed to the point where it was pretty obvious what we were working on. Conditions at the labs were hostile towards the scientists. Long hours and poor sleeping conditions working around dangerous chemicals and machines led to many accidents. I have to think some of the accidents were fatal or life-changing. One young engineer from Britain lost his penis to the toaster in the kitchen. Don't ask how, but they knew that toaster was a threat and they did nothing, nothing. Just keep making grath juice, keep making rang juice. Unbelievable. Through the first 11 years of development, the lab managed to remain a secret until one former worker would make a daring dash to the press. Fortunately for Dr. Rang and Nato, he was very mistaken about the nature of the experiments taking place at Rang Labs and claimed the lab was related to the Manhattan Project. But was it? We'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. It's the all-new product from Drupal Droid, the circle with a rectangle on top. Twist it, shake it, spread it all over, feed it to your kids. It's the circle with a rectangle on top, now available in red. Call this number right now with $19.99 in your hand and then slap the phone with your money to order now. Circle with a rectangle on top. Please note, circle with a rectangle on top is not intended to be used internally. Never leave a child alone with a circle with a rectangle on top, or death, injury, or time travel may occur. Do not attempt to watch a circle with a rectangle on top with other shape or geometric figures. Local taxes are applicable. Your results may vary. Circle with a rectangle on top. Yeah! The cultural effects of Grath Rang can be felt throughout our culture. From the stylings of one Do big shack. Three, four, minus one, that's Every day, Rang's on the block. block. 
smoke trees. To the soft crooning voice of Bob Dylan. Hey, Mr. Tambourine. The Grath Ring surely lives within all of our hearts as a cultural icon. But back to Dr. Rang. The year 1952. Rang's team was close to a breakthrough, but the doctor was missing something. One night I was closing down my lab station when I saw Dr. Rang's eyes light up. He'd done it. He'd created a Grath Ring. But no one could see it. We knew it was there. The beast emits so-called Rang rays that make it very easy to detect. But it was invisible. It would take another 43 years to locate the Grathrang created that day. The doctor refused to divulge the appearance of the creature to anyone, and the fact that it was impossible to see made it all the more difficult to locate. The fucking thing had teeth too. It'd bite you. Sure, you, you'd think you'd have it, but you'd turn around and bam! It'd be gone before you could even look at it. I fucking hate Grathrangs. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all we have time for this week. If you notice any Grathrangs in your area, be sure to contact the number shown on the screen now. We'll be back next week to continue What is a Grathrang?